Hi guys, this is Conspiracy from SurrealPSD.com. Uh, today I've got a quick tip for you. Uh, this is a great technique just for finishing off a piece, adding a sense of uh, drama and intensity. So here we can see the example piece. This is before the cinematic sharpening and this is after. So if you're going for um, a gritty aesthetic, this is a, a great technique to use. So let's get into the PSD. Here we have um, the actual PSD itself. You can see it's a quite an intense composite, fair few layers there. This was um, for the Descent into Chaos book cover. A little zoom out there. Okay, so what we want to do is create a merged layer of all of this entire layer stack and have that at the top. And there's a great shortcut for that. It's a bit of a complex one. It's Command, Alt, Shift, and E. Control if you're on a PC. And what that does is it copies everything and just puts a nice layer at the top for you to work with. Okay, um, to remember, this is going to sound silly, but to remember this, uh, I always use a little song, Command, Alt, Shift, and E. It just uh, helps you memorize it a little bit better. Uh, once you have that merged layer at the top, what you want to do is go Filter, Other, and then High Pass. High pass will um, basically accentuate the highlights and the darks and grey out everything else. So what you want to do is pick a value on the radius that uh, picks out the details nicely. So I, I think around 7 will work for this one. And then hit OK. Once you have that, change the layer blend mode to overlay. And already you can see uh, that's added a, a massive amount of intensity to the piece. Arguably too much. So you can always go to the opacity. Pull that down a bit. And find the uh, value that, that works for the particular piece. So I think around 59, 60 is working quite well for this one. Now once you have that done, the second step is to create another merge layer. Command, Alt, Shift, and E. And then delete the one below. We don't need that anymore. That's done its work. And with this top one, what you need to do is go Filter, Sharpen, Unsharpen Mask, or Unsharp Mask. Again, with this, tweak the values. This has the settings uh, from last time that I've done this. So um, amounts 99, radius 1.3. You never really have to mess around with a threshold. With your own piece, it may be larger, it may be smaller. Experiment until you uh, get the right look. Hit OK on that. And what that does is it really, really picks out the details. So this is quite a, a grisly looking soldier. And in this instance, it works well. With movie posters, sometimes it's argued that they go a bit too far. So with the A-Team reboot, their posters were criticised for going a bit too heavy on this technique. But I quite like it. It really adds a, a sense of punch and allows you to finish off uh, a piece nicely. So let's just have one quick look at the before and after. And you can see the work that's been done. So that's it for today's tip. Until next time, take it easy.